What's up guys? Today we are taking a step back in time. We've all wondered at times, how did things become what they are, you know, over time, whether it's vehicles or trailers or, or equipment or whatnot. And so today we're specifically looking at dump trailers and the evolution of dump trailers into what we see today. Today we have a a current LPT gooseneck behind us. But I have today with me my dad, Mike Crab. He's one of the, the founders of Diamond C, you know, and one of the pioneers of dump trailers, if you will, back in the day. And so getting right into it, when we talk about dump trailers in the late eighties, what did that look like? I know that, you know, I've heard a lot of stories over the years about it, but kind of tell us what, what spawned or, or sparked dump trailers. Well, the trailer industry was mainly made up of car haulers and, uh, utility trailers, so dumps were basically unheard of. And uh, the dump trailer industry started with uh, other manufacturers, very tiny at the time, using single or double push, just hydraulic cylinders, uh, hard to, uh, or harder to rig up, you know, the valving system, the, the hoses, things like that. And so looking for an alternative, we sold uh, trailers to, uh, a dealer in Mississippi that had been in business for a long time and built some trailers on the side and he had experimented with scissor hoist, uh, which were actually at the time manufactured for the truck industry, the light truck and commercial industry. It was a uh, uh, ton and a half, one ton trucks. And anyway, uh, the scissor hoist made building a dump trailer so much easier uh, he asked me to build uh, a hydraulic dump, and the first one we built actually had a scissor hoist under it and was very easy to uh, mount. And anyway, the uh, uh, simplicity of it carried over. So, I mean, one of the things about it too, from what we've seen, and, and there are some manufacturers who, believe it or not, still use single push cylinders like he was talking about, or the dual cylinders, but they were a lot harder on the, the frame of the trailer because when they're if you if you can imagine when the body is the dump body is uh horizontal that cylinder is horizontal too and so it's actually trying to push itself apart as it raises the trailer super stressful on it um so therefore the scissor lift wasn't just easier on manufacturing manufacturability but it was also better for the consumer definitely yeah uh we did i would i would be lying if i if i didn't say we did experiment just a little bit with uh push type cylinders but you had to beef that part of the trailer up so heavy to keep from bending components under there that are tied to the main structure in the frame that it uh was overkill yeah the, the scissor lift uses um well engineering and, and physics right mm -hmm. uh, you know for it to, the way that it operates and so it, the scissor lift has been you know was used diamond c used them from like he said from you know very beginning up until just recent years 2021 2022 and from scissor lifts you know we we evolved into what we have now as a telescopic cylinder and again telescopic cylinder has been around for a long time uh telescoping cylinders go as far as I, I know from just when I was young working around construction, my dad tele telescoping cylinders go back to the uh, further than I than I do back yeah. like the 50s, you know, they're on uh, mainly dump truck applications. Yeah, big semi in dumps yes. and things like that use telescopic cylinders. The beauty of a telescopic versus the scissor lift so that you kind of have that evolution again, the step up is that the scissor lift is still placed under the bed of the trailer and uh, has a a point at which if you load your weight too far forward it can it can be hard to dump like you it, it starts creating too much leverage at the front of the dump trailer making it hard to dump whereas on this lpt behind us and on those uh, end dumps like we were talking about and that dad referenced the telescopic cylinder is placed at the most optimum point because it's up in the front of the out on the front of the dump trailer or the body and it is pushing straight up. There is no laying down mechanism to have to un, you know, unfold or anything like that. And so it's become over the years for us, you know, again, we, we, we went all in on telescopic about three, three years ago, four years ago, and uh, have moved all of our low profile tilts. And now even our deck over tilt, I said tilt, dump trailers, <laughs> moved all of our dump trailers over to telescopic and uh, just because it's sheerly the, 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 better, the better lifting mechanism for us. 
simplicity of design and uh, sheer push power. Sheer push power. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. So one of the things that that uh, early on when we were doing the telescopic cylinder that was kind of the meh part about it that consumers got back to us and said, hey, it's just super slow because uh, the the cool thing about a scissor lift is you get to use a shorter, more compact cylinder, but because of the scissor action, it actually multiplies like the, the lift angle. And versus a telescopic, you have to have all of that stroke for this one to go uh, to full extension. And so about two years ago, we did work with KTI, our power, uh, power unit company, and they did increase the uh, flow rate on the pump to be able to extend the cylinder faster and retract it. Now, you know, 16 foot dump trailer is about the same. So like any evolution, when you think about how trucks and vehicles and semis and all equipment have come along, you know, year over year, you know, you continue kind of chipping away at uh, ways to make, you know, these things more efficient. And so where I'm going with that is you think back to that, uh, you know, there's the famous picture and we put it on the, the B-roll for you to see, but of you with that first dump trailer. <laughs> yes. That, what axles did that trailer have probably? That trailer had, I believe, 5,200s under 5, it. 5,200 pound axles. So it's a 10,000 pound dump trailer, basically. It was, looked like probably 12 foot long. Like dumps then were kind of 10, 12, yeah, some 10, 14s. Yeah, 10, 12s, yes, for sure. And so looking at the way that those have, a, the, the weight of things, the weight of equipment and all has evolved, you go from that, you know, 12 footer gooseneck dump with 5,200 pound axles to now behind us, this is kind of the pinnacle of low pro dump trailers. This one's 16 foot long, has 32 inch sides, 10K axles. You know, everything again has just over time evolved into now what we believe is like, again, the pinnacle, the, the uh, most heavy duty commercial dump trailer on the market. So you got any closing words for them on dump trailers? Uh, I would just say they have come a long way. Cool. Well, we hope this was insightful for you. Get on diamondsea.com there. You can view all the, the range of dump trailer goodness there from little five bay dumps all the way up to a 20 foot dump and uh, get on the learning center and learn more today about Diamond Sea dump trailers.